I don't think we'll ever do this again. I am driving around Texas and when we got to the rental car place, they had us renting a van, but we didn't need that much room. So we decided to switch and get a different car. My husband was like, you want to get a Tesla? And I was like, no, I like Teslas, but I don't know how to use them. So I was like, no, no, no. So I said, well, if we do get one, how about we look up how to use it first and then get one. But he was like, well, how about we rent it first and then figure out how to use it. And I wasn't for that, but that's what ended up happening. <laughs> So we rented the car, he figured out how to get it going, and then we went to go eat. And then we were sitting in the parking lot trying to figure out how to turn the car off. We both were on our phones Googling and using YouTube trying to figure out how to charge the car, how to lock the car, all of that kind of stuff. So it's been fun, it's been challenging. We couldn't figure out how to get the navigation system to work. but. I think we kind of got it at least enough to get around so that's what I'm doing and it's been kind of fun although I was hesitant at first it's actually been cool just finished eating with my sister and my gorgeous nephew Hi. hey <laughs> oh thank you so I am going to take them to their car my nephew had never been in a Tesla before so he's getting the experience okay let me see it's on, isn't it? Oh. Yes, it's on. This is what I had to figure out is how to turn a gear. Tap key card and press brake to drive. Oh, wait. So is it not on? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, now I need to do this. this. Is something else. I'll huh? tell you. Your you must get so rich. That he is. All yeah. right. Yeah, he built these cars. Here we go. So Carter, what do you think of it so far? I, I love Tesla. You've never been in a Tesla before. These cameras are awesome. They give you different angles. I know. And then like you can, sh it'll show you who's riding alongside you and everything. Even like when you put your blinker on, mm -hmm. it'll show you who's next to you. Oh, that's dope. Let me see. Put it, get the D. There we go. Here we go. I'll figure out the air in one I've second. I've only seen a Tesla, never been in one. Yeah, this is my first time driving one. I've been in one when somebody else was driving. But this is my first time driving one, and I'm still getting used to it. Oh, okay, we're rolling. Rolling with the homies. <laughs> yes, sir. Shout out to Clueless. Now turn right <laughs> onto Water Street. I used to love that movie. So I got back to the hotel and I told my husband that the car needs to be charged up. So he Googled or looked up something on his phone and found a place where we're going to go and charge the car. So I guess we're going to have to sit in the car while it charges and maybe find something in the area. Let me see what time it is. It is, it's 9.35 right now, p.m. So <laughs> this is going to be interesting. In 500 feet, you will arrive at your What's destination. It's a turn right here or keep going? Go keep going, I think. I think I feel like I'm passing it. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'm Do you think it's behind us? Just look at the arrows. Oh. Did you already put it in there? Yes. It looks like it's just staying the same. It hasn't moved. I keep looking back at my husband, he's on his phone. I don't know if he's calling a friend or looking up a YouTube video. But we've been sitting here at the charging station and the car isn't charging yet. <laughs> I don't know how long we're gonna be here, but uh, yeah, this is my life right now. Finally found a charging station and it will be 11 hours and five minutes to reach a full charge. It's going to be about 80 degrees, so I'm going to wear this simplicity dress that I made a while ago, and this is going to be my first time wearing it.
I really, really love this dress. I purchased the fabric from Joanne Fabrics, and I remember when I saw it, I just fell in love right away. I love gingham, and this is gingham, and then it happens to be seersucker, and then the dress has pockets, so I really like that too. And I'm actually on my way to a Bible study with a friend who I haven't seen in quite some time, so I think it's gonna be cool to connect and meet up with her. Now, as far as the Tesla goes and that whole situation, we ended up leaving it plugged up overnight where it was, but it was so late at night, it was nowhere to go to hang out or anything. Plus, we needed to get to bed. So we just took an Uber back to our hotel room and left it charging overnight. And then my husband woke up really early in the morning and took an Uber back over to the car to pick it back up. So now the car is here and we have it. So that worked out. And he told me it got up to about 200 miles on it. So that's pretty good. So it has been fun having the car, but <laughs> not knowing what we're doing is interesting as we go along. And it's been a little frustrating at times, but I think now that we kind of figured out how to charge it and where to charge it, I think we should be okay from this point on. I don't think we'll ever do this again, I don't think. But yeah, it's definitely been an experience. I wore these pink sneakers yesterday to Bible study with my dress. There is no pink in the dress, but you can't really tell when they're all put together. It kind of looks like the white is pink, but it's not. And this lady complimented me and said she liked my shoes and they are actually Converse. So I thought that they went well with the dress and they definitely kept me comfortable. I'm getting the hang of this Tesla. So right now I'm on my way to grab some lunch. I'm gonna go get some Chinese food. Last night I hung out with my girlfriend who I went to the Bible study with and we went roller skating so that was so fun. I actually brought my own skates and I was able to fit them in my carry-on bag so that was pretty cool. And yeah, that's it. So that's where I'm on my way to right now and then I'll be heading home in a couple days. I have had such a great time here in Dallas. I'm actually sitting outside of the hotel waiting for my husband to come out. He's checking out. Then we're going to go turn in this Tesla. Ugh. And then I'll be headed back home and starting on my next sewing project. Ooh, my car sounds so loud. I am on my way to the grocery store. I am going to be making a pot roast. And I looked up this recipe and it's calling for red wine. I know nothing about wine, like nothing. I was on the internet this morning just searching up videos, trying to figure out like what kind of red wine, what is dry wine, um, how to open it, because I don't even think I have a cork. So I learned that there are some screw off tops, so that's cool, I'm gonna look for that. And yeah, I just did a lot of research just trying to figure out what to get. So hopefully this will be good because I've made pot roast before, but I never used any wine. So I kind of want to step it up and do a little something different. So that's where I'm going right now. I have this dress that I really love. It's a Butterick dress. I believe it's Butterick 6350. And I made this dress a while ago and I really like it a lot. The only thing is whenever I'm wearing it, I always wish it was a little bit longer. So I decided to make the dress again and lengthen it. I purchased this polyester fabric from Joanne Fabrics and I really, really love it. It's like a navy blue color and I thought it would be perfect for this dress. I did decide to lengthen the dress by just cutting on the lengthen and shorten lines. I separated the pattern. I made sure that the grain line was matching this grain line so that they would still be even. However, I noticed that from separating the pattern, it made these corners uneven. So this one was much shorter than 
this one and before they were matching they were touching so what I did was I drew a line down and then I extended this line over so that I can connect these two areas so that it could just be one piece the way it was before and I had to do the same thing over here on this side I drew a line down and you could tell how they don't meet they don't line up so I just want them to line up the way that they were so I just drew a line down to connect the pattern then I'm going to cut along this line and I'll do the same thing over here on this side I'll cut on this line all the way down and I'll do this for the front this is the back piece so I'll do the same thing for the front piece I actually went back in to kind of straighten this line out I had it going over here at first but I actually needed to come down here where the actual pattern begins so I'm just gonna cut from this corner and follow that line all the way up just so it will be one piece here is the pattern piece all altered and because I did widen it a little bit it's going to give me a little more volume and I also need to make sure to pull the pockets up because they are down here now so I need to go up and make sure I make a notation of where they should be instead of where they are now. This fabric has a shiny side and this other side here is not as shiny so I decided to go with the shiny side of the fabric and this is what I have done so far. Next I will be working on the facing to go around the neckline and then there are also facings to go around the armhole opening. I put a finishing edge around this facing so that it will look neat and I'm trying to find my notches so that I can match them up to the neckline here. So once I get this on, I will stitch it all the way around and then I will do the same thing for the armhole opening. I'm at the point of putting the ruffle onto the dress. So I put in all the gathering stitches all around the ruffle and here is the dress and I'm just going to adjust the gathers and then attach it to the bottom of the dress and then everything will be all done. I already hemmed the bottom of the ruffle so that's taken care of. So yeah, once I put this ruffle on, I will be done. Goodness, I found the cutest little bottles I'm getting this this is Merlot and I only need like two cups so I think these little bottles will be perfect and I can keep some of them for another dish or something and it's only $5.99 yes 